Hello and welcome to Chemix. Today we'll be further purifying and drying the ethyl bromine we prepared in a previous video. The ethyl bromine was stored in the freezer over some calcium chloride. But to begin with we add some fresh calcium chloride to remove any traces of ethanol or water that might still be present. The ethyl bromide has been sitting on top of the calcium chloride for about 30 minutes now, so I'm going to filter it through this cotton ball here into a different round bottom flask. To further dry the bromoethane to completion, I'm using phosphorus pentoxide. This will remove any remaining traces of water and achieve the dryness I'll need for my upcoming Grignard reaction. When working with phosphorus pentoxide, safety gear is very important. Although it's not toxic, it leaves very bad chemical burns, so gloves, eye protection and the respirator are a must. I'm now adding the phosphorus pentoxide to the bromoethane. I'll leave this sitting while adding fresh phosphorus pentoxide from time to time until the phosphorus pentoxide no longer forms lumps. After letting the bromoethane sit on top of the phosphorus pentoxide, I set up for a fractional distillation of our product. I'm distilling off our now extremely dry bromoethane and I therefore set up a classical fractional distillation setup. So I have my boiling flask, the grill column, the still head, the condenser, then a vacuum takeoff with a wash bottle containing just a little bit of sulfuric acid, and our collection flask, which is sitting in an ice bath. The ethyl bromide is currently coming over at exactly 38 degrees Celsius. The distillation is finished and here you can see the remainder in the boiling flask. I'm pretty much distilled until dryness and all the product came over at a constant 38 degrees Celsius. Here's our final yield of very dry bromoethane. I'm now going to transfer it into a properly labeled storage bottle. Here we have a yield of very dry bromoethane. I'll be using this in an upcoming video to perform a Grignard reaction, so stay tuned for that. That's it for today. As always, I hope you liked it. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Give me a thumbs up if you want, and I'll hopefully see you on the next one.